How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If you haven't been here before, my name is Jeff and I am doing a DIY remodel on my bathroom. But you won't see anything of that today because uh, it's sunny, it's nice out. So we're going to be outside and we're going to talk about something that I should have been talking about weeks ago as well. Your yard. Uh, so let me just show you what I've got going on. I want to explain a few things so it kind of helps you out a little bit. And I'm going to show you something that I'm going to be doing and a product that I'm going to be using today because it's time for a little bit of yard maintenance for sure. Alright, so we're going to start over here in the shade because it's getting a little bit warm today. But I just actually wanted to show you guys this. As you guys can see here, you can see some browning in the yard. Um, which is, is typical for most yards in, in the area where I live, which is in the southern Idaho area. Um, and then you can get into the area where it's kind of starting to get green and, and, and nice and plush. And then back again where you have an issue right here where it's browning. Or even browning up by uh, a concrete patio or anything like that. Sidewalks or stuff like that. Now this is my backyard. I can show you my front yard too here in just a little bit. But I just wanted to point this out, that if you're watering your yard, you could be seeing a couple different things. One, your sprinkler system isn't hitting that area properly, and that could be a problem. Or two, you're watering, but you're not getting enough water on it, and it's still browning. There's a couple reasons why that happens. One of the reasons is, is because you have grass, which is typically bluegrass fescue or uh, ryegrass in, in a cool area. This grass does not like hot weather. It will start to brown whether you dump water on it or not. Now, if you can dump two to three inches of water on it and a lot of fertilizer and a lot of other things on it, it will stay green, dark green. Throw iron on it, it'll go green. But it does not like temperatures over about 80 degrees. And once you get past that, your yard starts to have a problem. Or you think it starts having a problem, so you start panicking. Don't panic. It's going dormant for a reason because it just doesn't like this heat. It's stress. So it's kind of like, you know, some people get stressed, they go take a nap. Or they get uh, start getting cold or sick, they go take a nap. That's basically what's going on, although it's not sick. But let me just show you an area of my yard that I keep having issues pop up that is sick. And there is a way to take care of it. So if you look right here where this is just straight dead, and you look right here and this is just dry patched, and you can see this area right here, and right here, there's a fungus in this area that I had to put some chemical on. Because you can kind of see the trail of yellow in that. And there's a fungus that started growing in there. Last year it started right here and it moved over here to this patch. Um, now there's also a bug that has a tendency to eat its way through grass as well. Eat the roots out and kill grass. Uh, I don't think it's that because I had the same issue where it kind of did that but it did it in large patches out here in my yard typically that bug that does it you'll see a trail kind of come along and it runs out and then it spreads mine didn't do that again this area I had to treat to take care of it to get it to stop it's finally starting to go back to normal here this is what I was talking about by heat stress you can see just how brown that grass, grass has got and I mean, I have put a lot of water on this front yard. I'm putting two inches of water on this front yard every single week. So it's just absorbing it. The heat's killing it. And as you can see, the wind's blowing. So the wind's pulling uh, the water out of the ground as well and drying it out faster than I can keep it. Keep watering. Don't give up. If you're not going to put chemical on it to get it to come back up, uh, if you're not going to put iron on it to get it to come back up, which is something that I'm going to be doing this week, uh, getting iron on this just to help it out a little bit, 
keep watering it it's gonna do this it's gonna brown don't freak out as long as you do the watering you'll be okay so there is a weed in this conversation that I have to talk to you about and it is a nationwide issue you may not see it necessarily in your town or your yard which is beautiful you don't want it in your yard but for whatever reason this is a weed that took over our area like you would not believe and I have been battling it for five years I've done the water get on my knees with a bucket and put it in a bucket and get it thrown away I actually took out of my uh, out of my front yard over here I actually took out of my front yard over here on the very edge where the concrete is on the driveway I took out five buckets of this stuff one time it is a disaster it is a mess and there's only a couple ways to really either treat it or try to eliminate it and pulling it isn't one way because it just comes back because if you break a root it's a lot like uh, morning glory it break your root and it creates a new stem and it comes up so you have to really pay attention to your yard and make sure it doesn't one of the reasons why it comes into your yard is because the yard ends up becoming dry and when it becomes dry uh, it just takes over because it actually grows without uh, with very it grows with minimal water I don't know why I don't know where it come from but it, it's just a horrid horrid issue so let me show you the the initial start of this so you can kind of see what you're, I'm talking about <clears throat> so this is the little sucker that I'm talking about right here it kind of grows in little pods like this right here and it starts out right here uh, you can kind of see it in this dry area you can see it right here as well wherever grass is sparse at is where it will grow and it will just absolutely 100 percent take over your yard now you can see this is one big dry spot right here and part of that is because i actually dropped my blade on my lawnmower too low and just scalped it way too much instead of using a um, power rake on it but you'll see them growing right in here and all the way through there it is an absolute nuisance it is a pain in the you know what to get rid of because they just keep coming back it's a crabgrass and it's not that it's a normal crabgrass where it grows like crabgrass does in your yard like grass in a field field grass is what I call it uh, it actually creates a seed and that seed once it dries pops it goes in it buries it comes back and, and there's two ways to do it you can use crabgrass preventer uh, in the springtime or in the fall and do it before it gets cold on your last few waterings to help you prevent for next year or in the springtime like I said or you can get this you're gonna want to get this at least that's what I'm going to be spraying my yard with, both front and back with. This is Tenacity. This was actually designed, well, I don't know what it was designed for, but it was used on golf courses, um, and they released this. This is a very concentrated, very, supposed to be a very nasty crabgrass killer. I think it had a listing in here of like 47 or 50 different seven species of crabgrass that it would kill. You only need one teaspoon per two gallons of water that's a potent mix if i've ever seen anything so if you're getting a crabgrass or you're getting the crab type of crabgrass that i'm getting this is what you're going to try to use you can use crabgrass preventer but that's good about up till summertime and then you're going to have to put more crabgrass preventer on there this can be used as a pre or a post um product for crabgrass so i will post a link in the description because i got this out on amazon this is not cheap i'm gonna be straight up honest with you it, this little bottle right here this cost me about 68 dollars for this i have not used it yet this is the first time i'm gonna be using it and yeah 
Um, I'm going to be excited to see the results, which I will show you. I'm hoping it will only take a couple days before I have to post this. But if it doesn't, I will definitely give you a review on it after it's down. Um, so I also have some other stuff here that I want to show you too. So this is the other stuff that I'll be using with it. Um, this is not a plug for Southern Ag. I've never talked to him before or anything like that. Uh, but this uh, is designed to stick to the plant uh, versus just spraying tenacity straight because if you spray it straight to tenacity, um, it, from what I understand, and I don't know if this is true or not because I've never actually asked the company about that, but if you spray it straight to the ground, it could actually get washed out if, you, if it rains or sprinkles. This, you can add it to it and see what uh, and it should stick to the plant um i've never used this so I, I don't know if that's the truth to it or not but we're going to give that a try the other thing that you could try which i've used before is just dawn soap a couple drips of dawn soap in there uh, that soapy residue will tend to stick to just about everything and uh, and that way it has gives it more time to absorb into it as well if it rains or something like that so um, so I'm going to, I'm going to give this a shot. Uh, I've never used it again. So, uh, what do I have to lose? So, uh, yeah, let's go get a tank full of, uh, tenacity and I kind of like that name, tenacity. Um, and, <laughs> and, um, see what happens. I've got my tenacity, which you can see right there. And then they also give you a syringe, um, to use. Because it'll give you teaspoons, it'll give you what you need here. So this is all in teaspoons. So if we remember correctly, we have two gallons of water. Here, let me flip this around. It gives you the marker. Two gallons of water equals one teaspoon. So that's all you need right to that one teaspoon for two gallons of water. I would clean that off with some water as well. So I've got it in there. And then I'm going to be using my uh this is this is strictly to get it to stick. All right, not going to spend a whole bunch of time out here right now. It is 97 degrees and I know that's not as bad as like Portland or Seattle, but they deserve it for how much rain they get all the time. Uh, we are in the desert here. The frogs and lizards are carrying water bags. That's how bad it's getting around here. Uh, so I want to quickly just show you uh, this crabgrass uh, that I sprayed for. Um, I want to show you just exactly what it's doing. So let's just jump down in this grass and let me show you. About four days and if you look at this, this is the weed. I'm going to pluck it. If you see that, you see how uh, it is white. That is the chemical, the tenacity working. It takes the pigment out of this uh, crabgrass. And that's how it dies. That's how it kills it off. It goes all the way to the root. I pulled it out, but it goes all the way to the root. And just looking along here, some of it's still going, but you can see, you'll see some of it's going white right here through here. So it is uh it is for sure working and i i mean we sprayed the whole yard uh that side has it going white so all right boys and girls i'm gonna have that link down in the description uh if you're getting crabgrass that's looking like this and and the and the other one that i'm going to show you is, that i showed you as well that is worth the 68 or 70 dollars to own this tenacity so uh i uh I'm probably going to be shooting this one more time on the grass here in another week to give it time to recoup, but I'm happy about that, so that means it works. Alright, so I actually did spray a spot in my backyard that had some of it. Oh. So you can see it's losing its color. It's just taking the uh, color right out of it. And that's a sign that it's working. So uh, I'm happy about this. I mean, this is an area that's always been an issue back here too. So 
All right, that is all I have for this video. I know most of you are bummed that you're not going to be able to see anything in the show, in the bathroom that I'm trying to get done. Not to fear, it's coming. Uh, I'm trying to just take care of some minor stuff there, and I've been busy with some other stuff going on. And I'll be honest with you, I'm still trying to figure out what to do with the countertop because I'm back and forth on the idea of a vanity top, but um, I'm figuring that part out. Hence the reason why I have the review for uh, Tenacity. Uh, again, my total view is is that it's well worth $68, $70. I haven't looked on Amazon to see what it's actually going for right now. It fluctuates in price, but you know if you're having a crabgrass problem, and, and I'm going to um, uh, list uh, so on part of the video I kind of listed some of the um, uh, crabgrass species. Uh, the best thing to do is, is grab those and take a look at them. Um, I mean, the bad thing about it is, uh, you know, there's 47 different ones. And the easiest way to do is start looking at on Google to really take a look and see what you have uh, in order to determine if this is right for you. But uh, this is a tool, and so you should take it as a tool and use it as a tool for your yard, yard maintenance. Um, I'm, I'm happy. I mean, look at that. Look at the front yard. That stuff's dying off. Uh, one thing to remember is that you do not want to like back to back, uh, spray this. So if you see it going and don't go three or four days doing it, give it a week, week and a half, come back and spray it again because too much will just kill the yard, burn the yard out in the roots and the, in your normal bluegrass, your fescue whatever six hours um i let it sit and then i decided to water my yard because it was it was definitely needing it and you know three four days and that thing that stuff started to turn white so yeah it, i'm i'm happy with it perfect review uh, uh, i would i would pay gladly pay the money again to have that stuff gone uh out of my yard so uh think about going to amazon think about buying it if you're looking at that in your yard um, again that stuff is just all over a lot of it is an Asian crabgrass a lot of it comes out of the south that's all I got um, I really appreciate you all taking the time to watch this it means a lot to me when you do that uh, continue to watch I will continue to post I will get back in the bit of that bathroom and we will get the finish done on that um, I'm definitely gonna get that going I honestly might have one more tool review before that bathroom part of it. Uh, again, I'm still trying to decide what I want to do on the vanity top, so uh, gives me a little leadway in order to do it. But I don't know if the bathroom is first or that tool review will come uh, be before it. So uh, don't forget to hit the like button before you leave if any of this information was useful for you. Uh, and if it's not useful, still hit the like button because it helps me out. And I always appreciate every time you guys help me out with that kind of stuff. So uh, you guys keep watching. I'll keep posting. Have a good day.